great music and everything you need to know. This is your Poacher 2022 update on Jam FM. Hello, this is Jack. And Kathy. And this is the Jam FM update. Today we'll be getting your tips to deal with the changeable weather. Finding out about the Poacher Challenge. And investigating more activities. This is Jam FM. Kathy, I can't believe you asked for rain yesterday. It has been so wet this morning. <laughs> yeah, but it's sunny now. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's so changeable. Well, this morning I spoke to a lot of wet scouts. I'm Josh and I'm from England. What's happened to you? So I thought I'd gotten your inflatables, but it got a bit wet. Wet is an understatement. I don't want to put my shoes on and make them wet. I hope you have fun. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm having lots of fun. <laughs> the water's actually dripping down his nose. <laughs> We're rainbows from First Boxton. Are you not letting the rain dampen your spirits? No. no. Are you looking forward to today, though? Yes. Uh, I found some gents wearing towels. Tell me who you are, where you're from. Black Prince CSU. And how are you dealing with the rain today? Well, uh, we did the water slides and now it's raining. So we're doing water storms now. So basically dealing with the wet weather by doing wet things. Yes. Yeah. We've got flip flops and sliders. Yeah, everybody else is wearing jeans and socks. Pretty silly guys. Be prepared. So this is a new feature on Jam FM called um, hiding in people's subcamps, waiting for the rain to pass. And who are you guys? We're from the first break, Blowfield and Brundle in Norfolk. The kids are loving it, to be perfectly honest. We are as well, going around and meeting people. That's one of the great things I think we've found from this jamboree is just being able to just stop people you would have never met before, have a conversation about anything, some kit that they've seen that we've got, people have been coming and asking about it, or programme ideas, anything, just chatting with leaders, really. Yeah. Hello, Claudia, Claudia, well, come on. So some of the scouts have just arrived, probably also hiding from the rain like me. How's your jamboree going, guys? Good, really good. <laughs> extreme jump was so much fun. What, what is extreme jump? Um, it's like you got these stairs and then you have to land on your bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and you jump. have to jump in this airbag, or onto this airbag, and it's really fun. <laughs> I just watched. <laughs> it didn't fancy the height no. on that one? No, it's good to like try different things that we haven't done before, like the zip lines and the crate stacking and climbing walls and all those bits. What's your advice for dealing with this rain today? Um, hide. <laughs> 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 I'm not going out again. This is Jam FM. So tomorrow's weather, I think, is looking like another hot one. Yeah, fantastic. It's going to be maximum 26 degrees, nice and sunny in the afternoon. Still sunny at 5 o'clock, should be lovely. Looks like the wind is dying down a little bit as well. Um, so hopefully we will have a nice warm day tomorrow. But remember, keep that sun cream on, sun hats on, and keep yourselves hydrated so we all stay healthy on camp. Now, everyone we interview has been asking for their cards to be signed off for their Poacher Challenge. What's that all about, Cathy? Well, I'm going to let Rachel from the Poacher Challenge explain how it all works. Hi, I'm Rachel I'm from the Poacher Challenge team. We are located by the, by the bungee trampoline. <laughs> so in the first step, you need to come and visit us in the Poacher Challenge tent and you need to come and pick up your green participant card. Or if you are a lucky leader, you get a lovely yellow one. So for the poacher challenge, you've basically, you've got seven sections and you only have to complete 10 challenges out of the whole lot. So two from a section will count towards your 10. But obviously with the mathematics of it all, you don't have to do all seven sections. It could be two off five sections. That'll give you your 10 or one across all seven and a couple off another section. So you just complete your 10 challenges. Your unit leaders can can sign ones that you've already done that may not have been signed off on the activity itself. Obviously we're guides and scouts, we're all very trusting of each other aren't we? And then you could come and see us in the Poacher Challenge tent and you could come and get your badge. It's literally as easy as that. And on site each lunchtime there's a show in the arena but unfortunately today the Red Devils weren't able to join us because the wind and visibility meant they might have landed in next door's garden. So the Trek Cart team ran an inter-sub camp competition instead and they let the Jam FM team join in. The Jam FM team are about to take part in the cart race. So, Alex, we're here down in the arena. What are your feelings? Fear. And the team are off. They're making a good start, but they've forgotten it. Oh no, it's fallen off. And the other team, the program team, have a person down. They're taking apart the cart as they get to it. They've learned some techniques on the way and they're taking it apart really quickly. And the wheels are off. The legs out and they're hopping over that hurdle. And they're putting they're trying to figure out which way round the parts go. They've got it all locked in. They've got to get the pins in before they run. Go on, Jam Fed, they're starting running! Quick and the program team are off, hot on their wheels as they run. Oh and the cone is over.
over at Jam FM, cross the finish line first. Let's go and have a chat with the team. So Alex, why do you think that we were victorious here at Jam FM? Because we're all lovely best friends that get on very well, know each other incredibly well. We clicked, we clocked, we hit the spot. <laughs> Clippity clopped. <laughs> and it was all just a very, it was liquid, it just flew. Oh, so out of breath. And tomorrow there are two shows. We've got uh, MBE, who performs stunts on pedal bikes. We've also got the uh, Wheel of Death, which is a uh, rotating structure that uh, we've got two performers that uh, can perform in and on that up to nine metres up in the air. Oh, wow. I mean, are we looking for volunteers to strap to the Wheel of Death or are they bringing their own? They bring their own. We're starting slightly earlier. So if you come down to the uh, main arena with your packed lunch at uh, 12.45, you'll see the displays. Elsewhere, Poachers Got Talent continues and this was the moment we found out last night's Heats winner live on the 7 to 9 p.m. evening round. The atmosphere in the barn was amazing. They were so loud, lots of screaming, lots of shouting, the bright lights, smoke machine it was just fantastic and the performers were amazing so it's time then for the results so today we have got three contestants that have gone through to the finals kira from second brig who uh, was a singer we've got hayley who is from our american girl scouts and she did a beautiful dance and we have got Lara from Tweed Valley West, and that was our opera singer. There we go. Congratulations. And your last chance to enter is tomorrow, Wednesday. Hi, I'm Cindy from Team Talent. We'll be here till Wednesday, 4.30, uh, with a chance to get through a daily semi-final. And then from the semi-final, a chance to get to the grand final, and from there to the opening ceremony. So you go over to the Poachers Got Talent tent, and then you sign up. We had a fabulous semi-final last night in the barn, and we've already seen some incredible talent today. One activity that was popular today, despite the changeable weather, was the Zorb Pool. Beaker found out about the setup. So we started setting up on Wednesday, so we've got everything ready for to start activities on Sunday. We've got three pools, each with a huge amount of water, which at the end of the week we need to put somewhere. So it may rain if you're in the 14 to 17 sub camp. And how long did it take you to fill the pools up? So to fill all three of the pools that we've got here, it's taken us around about 18 hours. And how long will it take you to empty them? About two hours. <laughs> And there we go, another day done, Cathy. Yeah, another fantastic day despite the rain. And the sun. <laughs> and the sun, yeah, it, as you said, very changeable. We didn't get a chance to go to the tuck shop unless you went without me. Actually, someone brought me some snacks, so. Oh, that's cheating. But we could go now. We could. Should we go? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> right, we're off to the tuck shop then, and we will see you tomorrow. Remember, you can catch us on the evening roundup on Jam FM, online, on your smart speaker, and on 87.9 FM at the Jamboree. Jam FM.